Over the weekend, I was at San Antonio at Hunter Douglas event, and we were looking at few different lines that is in the market. It was an amazing event, and that event inspired me to do this video for you. In general, to cover windows and doors, we have three options. The first option is blinds, and blinds usually is made of very hard material, such as wood, vinyl, aluminum. The second option are shades, and shades are made of softer material or fabrics. And then the last option is curtains and custom draperies, and I'm not gonna talk about that in this video. In general, all the blinds made to give you some privacy and also block the lights. But the amount of energy efficiency they have and the amount that they block the lights based on the blinds is different. Before you walk into the store and make a decision about your blind or shade purchases, there are fundamental questions that you need to ask yourself. The first question is, are you purchasing the blind because you need a privacy? And if your answer toward this question is yes, how much of privacy do you need? The second question that you need to ask yourself is how much sun coming to your place? And are you worried about your flooring and your furniture fading? The third question that I want you to ask yourself is, how much a heat coming in from the window and if that concerns you or vice versa, too much heat escaping from the window. The fourth question would be, do you need the room to be completely dark or are you okay with some lights coming out through the windows? The next question that you need to ask yourself is where is this blind getting installed? The location of the blind matters. For example, installing a blind in a high moisture area such as a bathroom is very different than having it in a bedroom. The sixth question that I want you to ask yourself is, do you want to see outside while the blind is down? Consider the style of the house before you choose your blind. The house that is modern versus classical or farmhouse style, they all can benefit from different blinds. In this video, I'm going to show you three of my favorite uh, multifunctional blinds and of course you're not limited to these three options and there's lots of other options out there uh, but I narrow it down to this tree that I think it looks good and it does the job. One of my favorite blinds it's called Silhouette. It looks like a roller shade when it's closed down. It's basically have veins that is between sheer fabrics. So this sheer fabrics, it's holding the vein, and when you open it, you'll be able to see outside. The fact that I like about this blind that there is no tape and there is no cord holding these veins, so it looks super clean. Silhouette shades in general diffuse the strong light when it comes to the room and it gives you such a beautiful, romantic, soft light transition to the room. Another thing that you need to really think about is the way the operation of the blind works. The blind operation in general could be cordless, could be with the cord, or could be motorized. For example, in this one, I have the blind cordless, which we can, you can have it up and down, and this works on a smaller window and the windows that are reachable, but on the bigger windows and the windows that are too high, this is not functional. If you were concerned about heat, this is your blind. It's called Duet Architella. It has multiple cells inside each other, and then the air goes inside and it acts as a barrier, so the hot air does not come inside or the cold air won't go outside or vice versa. Other than being energy efficient, another thing that I do like about this blind is you can bring the blind down from the top and you still be able to see outside. The fresh air can come inside and you still have your privacy. You can also have this blind going up all the way. This blind comes in different transparency. So you can get this blind to be completely room darkening or you can get that completely transparent to be able to see outside or something between. The other thing special about this blind is you can install this on a skylight or the windows that are angled. As a designer, consistency is very important for me. I really do like the blinds from outside to look all very even. This blind does it. So if I want to use a different color for different rooms, outside of all of them could be completely white. So from outside, everything looks white. Another thing that I really do like about this blind is you can install it vertically for doors. So you can open them left to right, right to left, or right from the middle. 
Another one of my favorite lines is roller shade. And there are different type of roller shade that gonna give you different amount of privacy in the house. The type that I wanna talk about is specifically, it's called the screen shade. Screen shade comes in different openness and depends on the uh, size of the hole that weaved into this fabric, you'll be able to see outside more or less. It also comes in different color. The darker the color is, you'll be able to see outside better. The, but it absorbs some sort of a heat. And the lighter the fabric is, it does not absorb the heat, but you won't be able to see outside as well as the darker colors. You can have, again, this blind, it could be motorized, it could work with hand or with a cord. And this one specifically, you, it works with a hand and you can stop it anywhere you want. I do really like this blind because it's very clean, very modern, and it has few benefits. One is moisture does not affect this blind, so you can install it in your bathroom or in a high moisture area. You can even install this blind for outdoor patio. The other thing that I do really like about this blind is versatility of this blind. Because you can have dual shade and you can make this blind to be room darkening. These are just few of my favorite blinds and shades and I don't limit myself to these blinds, nor should you. Do your research when it comes to the blind. Pick the blind that is most functional for you and your space. If you have any question, you can always leave a comment below and I will be more than happy to answer it. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate your time. Please don't forget to subscribe and push that ring button to get notified for more videos like this. I see you in my next video.